Hey. Okay, so happy rainy Sunday. I feel like it's been a while since I've been live. Okay, so I wanted to show y'all how to get like that sun-kissed kind of dewy glow. So you actually kind of like let your own natural skin show through. Um, everybody's a little different. We all have different preferences in terms of how we want to cover our face, whether we cover it or not with a foundation or a tinted moisturizer. Um, some people like a really airbrushed look that you can really only get from foundation. Um, other people, um, like my personal preference is I love being able to have my face get a little bit of coverage or even out skin tone, but then also have my natural skin show through. That's why I love our tinted moisturizer, our color correcting tinted moisturizer. So I'm going to talk about, I'm going to show you a trick that you can do with either your color correcting tinted moisturizer or your foundation. Um, you can do this with either one. Totally, it works with both of them. Um, and again, it's a personal preference. If you want that full coverage, use your foundation um, and do this trick. If you are like me and you like your, your natural skin to show through but still want to kind of color correct um, the red areas or um, do a little bit of coverage uh, but still have your natural skin show through, use our CCTM, Color Correcting Tinted Moisturizer. So for today's purposes, I'm gonna use our Color Correcting Tinted Moisturizer. I'm gonna mix it with our Pearlizer. Now, if you are not familiar with our Pearlizer yet, talk to me because it's awesome. Um, it comes, it's, it's under our foundation line, and it comes in a bottle like this, our airless pump bottles. Uh, you won't miss it. You won't lose a drop. You'll use every last drop and the pearlizer will last you easily like 9 to 12 months because you don't need a lot. Um, I ran out of mine and I've been using a sample for like months now. So again, you don't need much. I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Hopefully I can get enough out of here to show you. And what I'm going to do is mix the two together. And I'm gonna put it all over my face. Now the highlighter, this pearlizer is a highlighter. Um, and one of the things, this is also, this applies to the pearlizer as well, all of our creamy based makeup. So our color correcting tinted moisturizer, our foundations, our pearlizer, our shadow scents, all have our skincare in them, okay? So what that means, is you are nourishing your skin while you're also getting the coverage and the look that you want, which is pretty amazing. Okay, so look at what I did here. There's the color correcting tinted moisturizer, there's the pearlizer. I'm mixing them together. And try this. A lot of you have these products already. Um, and if you know, if you have the tinted moisturizer or the, um, let's say you have our foundation or the tinted moisturizer, but you don't have the pearlizer yet, but you have like sandstone pearl shimmer or champagne shimmer, play around. Mix those two together. Mix a bit of it in with your tinted moisturizer and it will give you this, what I'm gonna show you. <laughs> and again, it's just a nice little subtle glow. We call it the J-Lo glow. Um, because it does, it just kind of gives your face that dewy, youthful, soft look. So I, there's been several of you lately who have gotten into the tinted moisturizer and it makes me so happy because I absolutely love this product. Our tinted moisturizer color corrects. It's got green tea in it or not green tea. <laughs> It's got green concealer in it. Um, so it will take, cancel out that redness and give you like an even skin tone. But what I love about the tinted moisturizer is it gives your, it gives you that coverage, but then it also lets your natural skin show through. And I love that. 
so you get some coverage, but yet you also look natural. You just look natural. So, and then it also provides 15 SPF with natural barriers, not chemical, natural barriers. Now, one other thing I always like to mention too is that, um, just lost my train of thought. <laughs> I was just to tell you something else too. You can layer like your tinted moisturizer. Like if you have an area that you wanna kinda cover up more, like I'm more red on my cheeks. So I'm just gonna layer a little bit more over that, okay? There we go. Okay, so you're moisturizing your face all day. You have your natural complexion showing through, but yet you have a nice base to work with, okay? But again, if you are someone who likes to have an airbrushed look, you're gonna wanna use our foundation because that's when you're gonna get the full coverage. If you just want light to medium coverage, the color correcting tint and moisturizer is totally what you'll like or what'll work for you. So now I'm gonna put in, I'm using Mocha Java Shimmer for this little bit of bronzy glow I'm gonna do. Now, if you don't have Mocha Java Shimmer, you can use your Mocha Java. You can use Candied Cocoa Shimmer. Um, what else could you use? I've even used Garnet before. Now that's super concentrated, so just do a little dot with that. Don't go crazy. Um, all of our shadow senses are very pigmented, as you know. So start small with a small amount and then go from there. So I'm putting it right on, not necessarily where I'd put my blush, but I'm gonna put it like right, you can see like just right under here. And then I'm gonna go up here. I hope everyone's having a good day today. Hey guys, thanks for hopping on. Okay. I haven't looked at any of the comments yet, but I will. Okay, so underneath the cheekbone, like right where that cheekbone stops, put this little bit there. Work it up in a C, okay? Because then what you're gonna do is add a little bit right here and right here. And then blend it in. Because this is where the sun's gonna hit. And again, this look is just for, just to kind of make you feel like, oh, okay, my face looks a little alive. You know, looks like I got a little bit of a glow. Okay. And then you can also use, obviously, our shadow sense for your lids and stuff too. I'm not doing any of that today. I'm just going to show you how those three things can give you that little bit of a glow. Now, if you feel like you want a little bit more of a, you know, pretty little glow, you can, actually I'm gonna fix that here, blend that out. Put the pearlizer right on your cheekbones. Can you see that? I'm just gonna blend it in with my finger right here. I love our pearlizer. This is what kind of gives you that like, just that like youthful, like, ah, you know, I'm, you know, happy and free and whatever. There's just something about it. There's something about that glow that makes me happy. So, and when you put it on, put it like on the, like the top of your cheekbone there and then go up into like a little C just pat it in. You can use like a little, some people use little brushes to put it on too. I always put, you've seen me do this probably a hundred times, put it on your nose, blend that in for any highlight really. And again, if you don't have pearlizer yet um, and you're not able to get it yet, but you have like sandstone pearl shimmer or 
champagne shimmer, any kind of light shimmer like that, go ahead and play with it and try it out. I also, some people who are on the top of their eyebrows, you can do that too. I'm not putting anything else on my eyes. I might do some volume intense mascara um, just because. So that's what you do to give yourself a little bit of a glow. Now, I'm gonna, I'll take a picture and stuff. I don't know if you can really like tell, but like, so obviously I just look like I have a natural base on, but it's, I've got some coverage and it feels good. It feels good. Now I actually, before I did this, I put on um, our candlelight and snow. I did my usual underneath my eyes to cover up my dark circles. Um, and also give a little highlight that snow is awesome. If you don't have snow yet, who <laughs> snow shadow sense, get some because it is a game changer when you start putting it right in here, a little dot here, a little dot here, blend it in and it just wakes up your eyes so that you don't have that darkness right in those corners. I absolutely love it.